This is the moment a group of what appears to be Israeli soldiers confronts a Palestinian man with intellectual disabilities in the occupied West Bank. Moments later, one of the soldiers shoots and injures him. Tariq Abu Abed was reportedly walking home when three Israeli soldiers stopped him near the city of Hebron, asking for identification, according to CNN. Cell phone footage of the incident obtained by CNN shows one soldier pointing a rifle at Abu Abed while he's on his hands and knees and pushing on his lower back. When he's let up, Abu Abed appears agitated, CNN reported. That's when a shot goes off. Abu Abed drops to the ground, reportedly wounded in the leg. Israeli military officials confirmed to CNN that its soldiers have been involved with the shooting in the video and that military police were investigating. Abu Abed's brother told the news outlet that another person who knew him tried to explain to soldiers that he had intellectual disabilities, but said they, quote, refused to listen. His brother said Abu Abed underwent surgery for his injury. The shooting is just another incident in a long history of violence against Palestinians in the occupied West Bank, which is an entirely separate piece of land from the Gaza Strip. Back in March of 2018, Israeli forces shot and killed a 24-year-old man with intellectual disabilities when protests erupted after then-President Donald Trump declared Jerusalem to be the capital of Israel. Since the start of the current war in Gaza, more than 250 Palestinians have been killed in the West Bank and East Jerusalem, according to the Palestinian Ministry of Health.